Hola amigos, que tal? Bon dia. Stuart here from Spain Speaks. On the road today, we're off to the beach. My son wants to do a little bit of surfing. So we're going to go down there and check out and see if there's any waves. This of course here in Portugal is a fairly famous surf area. One of the more famous areas here in Portugal. Of course the Portuguese coast over the last few years surfing has really taken off. There are um, lots of waves, lots of beaches where you can surf and that beach culture here in Portugal very very popular. They've had a few surfers on the tour in recent years and of course it is a popular activity here at the moment. And we're just going to try and go through here because there's a detour there. So that's us through there, there we go. These narrow little streets in the town. So a bit of feedback from yesterday's video. People talking about Barcelona. Of course the uh, voluntary confinement or lockdown that they have there. Whether people are respecting it or not. Lots of people apparently have taken off to second homes. Lots of people still going to the beach. Lots of people out and about. So uh, difficult to keep people confined if it's not. That's one of the main issues of course. And uh, reading yesterday I think that the government is not planning to make it mandatory. So they're going to try and convince people that it's better to do a, uh, a voluntary confinement rather than a forced one. And uh, that's the, the story coming from there. Lots of people talking about Madrid as well. Why are the numbers in Madrid so good? What's the reason for it? So one comment saying that perhaps it's because there's no tourism, not a lot of people coming into the city. Another reason could be that a lot of people from Madrid have left. They've gone to the coast, they've gone to their town, they've gone to their village. They've got out of the city, of course, school holidays on, people not working, lots of companies still shut or in the uh, furlough scheme and uh, people have decided to abandon Madrid. And uh, to be honest, can't blame them. It is a hot city in the middle of nowhere in the summer months. And people, of course, prefer to go to coastal regions to get away from that heat, which is what we've done here, to be honest. But uh, yeah, it is a bit strange that Madrid doesn't have as many cases as Barcelona. Of course, considering that Madrid, as we said yesterday, was the original epicenter of the virus in Spain. Some press questioning the way the government's reporting numbers. That could be another reason as well. So there's probably a, a series of reasons as to why Madrid's numbers are better than other places in Spain. And they're still holding off on that mandatory mask aspect as well, which is interesting. I think Madrid and the Canary Islands, the only two places in Spain at the moment where wearing a mask is not compulsory or forced by law. So interesting there, but we'll see over the next few weeks if that changes. And uh, I predict that it will. But then again, I'm not always right. Now, we can see in Australia, Melbourne has gone to a compulsory mask situation as of Wednesday, I think. So again, they're gonna go through all of the debates that we've been through in this country over the last few weeks. All of the same people are gonna come out and talk about whether masks are necessary or not. You're gonna get your fours and you're gonna get your againsts. You're going to get people that come up with arguments saying that they're not necessary. You're going to get people coming up with arguments that say that they are. But the fact of the matter is that when it becomes law, you're better to put one on. And uh, as we have seen in Spain, even in places where it's not compulsory, Madrid, lots of people with masks on. And uh, people have just decided that it's the best thing to do as they are taking this seriously. Check out this car going past here. That is a classic. Ford, is it an Escort? Wow. And a lot of people saying that maybe Spain opened up too early. That's the reason that we're in this situation that we are again now, or at least in some areas. Did we open up too early? That is the question. Not 100% sure whether that is the case or not. I'm just going to try and go in here if I can. Don't know if I am allowed to. Hang on, vamos, hombre. We'll just park in here today, I think. There we go. Beautiful. So I'll pick the video up again when we come back from our surf. All right, so that's the surf out of the way. I didn't go in the water, but young Dave 
Had a bit of a surf. How was the surf, Dave? Good. Good? Okay, good. A bit cold, started to rain, and uh, everybody left the beach. Only a few stayed behind. And uh, just going to go home quickly. So the question, did we open up too early? That's what a lot of people are asking themselves. Personally, I think that we had to open up. We have to live with this, as I have said on different occasions. People have to try and work, get everything back to normal if that's possible, and live with the restrictions and all of the other things that we have at the moment. I think that is the best option. I could be wrong, but uh, I think we just have to try to live with this. I also saw a few comments from other people that are around at the moment in Spain, people that have made it to Mallorca, to the Balearic Islands, people that have made it to other places in Spain, people that are looking to go to Spain. Somebody said they're in Mallorca at the moment and uh, they're having a great time and uh, they recommend other people do the same if they're planning to come to Spain. And of course, Mallorca, a fantastic place to spend a couple of weeks this time of year. Somebody also asked about Murcia, whether the airport there is open because they don't want to fly to Alicante. Don't know the answer to that. So anybody in Murcia, maybe expat in Mazarron is watching, he can let us know whether that airport is open in Murcia. Can't remember exactly the name of the place that he said, uh, but he would prefer a flight to Murcia rather than go to Alicante. So let us know, anybody in Murcia, if the local airport there is open. And we'll drive past here. So you can see you've got a factory on one side, you've got the beach on the other. I think this is some type of uh, fish oil factory, refinery, byproducts of fish, I think, because the smell that comes out of there is terrible. Then you come down here, you've got surf schools and a little bit of activity around here supermarket on the left as well and uh, as you can see it's a bit overcast not the best day and we come up here into the town of Peniche we go through the walls here and into the city of Peniche as I said in a video a couple of days ago lots of people here from Lisbon lots of people here from the interior parts of Portugal obviously not working at the moment decided to come and take their holidays a bit earlier or come and spend it here on the coast where it's a lot cooler it's only 20 degrees today here it's probably 27 or 28 inland it's not a hot day in Portugal today but the weather in this place is always a lot cooler than it is in other areas in Portugal and that's one of the reasons why people like to come here but you don't come to this place for the weather you come to this place for the surf come to this place for the scenery, come to this place to get away from crowds normally because it's not a busy part of Portugal. It's not like the Algarve in summer. And uh, it is a place that I like to come to because of that beach life, that beach culture. Surf, you can get a wave. The food's fairly good here as well. Great fish, uh, great seafood. A lot of restaurants prepare it really well here. Grilled fish is one of the main specialties and it's fantastic to eat sardines in this area are also great and uh, if anybody's looking for a holiday to Portugal this is a place that I would recommend so on that note I'll start to wrap the video up questions or comments please leave them in the section below thumbs up if you liked it thumbs down if you didn't the video I'll see you in the next one hasta luego hasta luego